Hello everyone, Dr. Blue here. Welcome to the Borderlands 3 Malawan Takedown Blue Review. I know this update kind of came out quite a while ago. I meant to do it immediately. PC problems, as you know, as I mentioned in my last video, even having some more PC problems today, being really weird. Anyway, I'm getting this working. Uh, the PC problems is also why I didn't upload last Sunday, but I'm uploading this Sunday, and hopefully next Sunday will be a another Blue Review, hopefully. So yeah, the Borderlands 3 Malawan Takedown. Now this was a free update that kind of added this whole dungeon on an asteroid outside of Promethea. Uh, it's like the Malawan's testing weapon platform thing. Um, and you've got to go in there and take down this massive raid boss that is like Malawan's new weapon. Um, it's pretty insane, uh, but we'll move on to the first impressions and go through the blue reviews in the regular order. So the first impressions, obviously we got a new set of patch notes and I tell you what, Borderlands are listening on these patch notes like everything has been addressed there have been so many positive changes i'll just play the clip for you now because we've got so many good changes added to this thing that it's pretty great today we are doing the borderlands 3 malawan takedown dlc um there's a new set of patch notes that dropped that i did want to go through with you guys which we will because on the, again on the patch notes they have paid attention to their community yet again and i'm very proud of them they're doing really well at this community feedback thing so there's a patch for there's a new takedown at the malawan black site it's more end game content bounce for four players at level 50 i'm probably just going to do it on mayhem 2 on my own or something like that there's a mayhem 4 now so for people who want to get even tougher stuff and it increases the loot drop chances the increased enemy health um, and it's a slightly random uh, modifier thing, but there's a new set of legendaries, so people that can fight this and do well get new legendaries, and there's stuff like that. Uh, there's a bank expansion. Now, I have like four fucking characters. There's uh, my Moe's, my Amara, my Zane, um, and my Flak, and my Flak, Amara, and Zane are all holding weapons for me, but now I can just put them back in the fucking game um, and take their loot off of them because I now have instead of 50 spaces I get automatically upgraded to 100 and then I can buy the rest for a total of 300 bank spaces and I have the max money in the game so I'm feeling like I can probably afford that so heck yeah thank fuck uh, there's dedicated loot pools for bosses so specific bosses drop from specific enemies now that's pretty great uh, the vendor machines have been added to all the places they said they would that's really good there's a target dummy as well which we didn't ask for but it is nice so you don't have to go and test a fucking weapon on a boss or something um a bunch of buffs to people like iron bear or moses iron bear a bunch of buffs to zane flak and then just a bunch of bug fixes apparently they've increased the overall performance in the menus and the performance of the bank we will see if that is true i don't know but hey they said they have fixed like a lot of shit so we're gonna see how well that is so as you can see, they did a lot with the patch notes. They've listened to a lot of the stuff I mentioned in my review and a lot of stuff the community has said as well. I don't know if they watch my review, but it really fucking feels like they have because they are just meeting like every criticism I had about the game. They're like quashing it. They're squashing it. They're getting rid of it. They really want that 10. Um, and to be honest, they're on their way there. So props to them. And the features, uh, there was a lot of bug fixes and improvements, menus have finally been made faster, although there's a bit of a bug with that, they flash for some reason, it's really weird. Bank spaces, instead of 50 now, jumped straight to 300, and especially because I have max cash, I could just buy all the stacks, so I've got all my weapons in my bank now, instead of everyone I'm holding them on different characters, that was a nice change. There's a target dummy added to test your builds, it's a little bit PNG, but it's there. Mayhem 4 was added to the game. Um, I still think the scaling from Mayhem 3 to Mayhem 4 is a little bit insane because Mayhem 4 is like plus a thousand percent, whereas Mayhem 3 is only like plus 500, I think, or something. Anyway, I think Mayhem 4 is probably a bit over the top, but some people are still handling it. I can't really complain that game's too hard anyway, but hey, yeah, I haven't used Mayhem 4 yet. I don't probably intend to until I get my Guardian rank up, but that's been added and the Mayhem podium has been changed, so you kind of do the arrows up and down now instead of uh, doing one, two, and three. The new location was added for the raid boss, a whole new set of level designs. The vending machines were placed very nicely throughout, even though I wasn't really picking up weapons and looting anyway because I'd already had max cash. 
Uh, new vending machines were added to different locations as well in the game. Many character buffs were added. I think Flak, Zane, and Moe's all got buffs. I think Mara got a little bit as well. But Iron Bear is actually good now. His damage is actually fairly decent. Uh, there's new enemy names, but the enemies kind of looked identical. Um, but there are new enemies themselves as well, and some reskins of old ones. So new enemies were added, new enemies were, uh, you know, reskinned, and some enemies were just renamed. Either way, there's new enemies. I'm happy with that. Oh shit, what is that? It's cracking. Fucking hell. I didn't see that back there, but whatever it is, it's fucking kicking my ass. Holy shit. What's all this back here? I don't know what that is, but hey. Whoa, now that's a fucking new enemy. Hello. Now that thing is tough and actually destroying me. I'm kind of worried I might die now. Unless I can just fuck it. No, my, okay. I just looked at my fucking fight for the life thing and it was like nearly dead, so. Okay, wow. Um, wow. This is difficult. I am not going to lie. I am having some difficulties. The boss design was pretty damn awesome. There's not really a storyline to this, it's kind of just a raid thing, so there's not really going to be a spoiler section, but the boss design for this was pretty awesome. He was really tough. The whole design for the dungeon is that you have to go through it with four players at level 50. We managed to do it with three eventually, um, but hey, the boss design for him is really awesome. I hope we see more like it. He's not just a bullet sponge. He just doesn't tank everything. He actually like fights in different ways and summons minions and does all this and that. It's really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, since my PC is having issues, one of these streams I had to stream on Mixer. And that's probably going to be doing all my live streams from now on until I can fix my PC. Uh, but one of them I did on Mixer. So if the voice sounds quiet, if it sounds a different quality, that's why. Um, I think this next clip is from that Mixer stream. So I do apologize. If the audio is a little low, lower quality, I'm going to try and figure it out for future streams. But this is a good clip kind of showing the intricate and awesome boss design that was involved in this guy. Um, here you go. Almost going to get shields now. Be prepared for something to change. Every time a health guard appears, get a brain. He's got a brain now! What the fuck? Focus on who you want, I guess. I don't even... I don't even... Oh my god, I went what down! What the hell? Here. I went down! Back first, back first. Wait, wait. Oh my god. No. Oh my. I, we all went down? No! Feel the atmosphere. Feel the atmosphere. Get the spear, get the spear, get the spear! Oh my god, I missed! Yeah. What? Me, me, me! Hurry up! Stay still, stay still, stay still. I got you, I got you, I got you. Did I just let him kill him? Did I just, or should I try to clutch it? You can try, but I mean, you're gonna be doing the rest of it by yourself, but do try, yeah, please. The soundtrack is on point once again. There's a couple of checkpoints in this dungeon, so how it works is if you die, you don't respawn until you get to one of those checkpoints. Um, and so there's like a couple of checkpoints in throughout the dungeon. You still have to fight through some, like if you get to the boss, you have to go back to like a checkpoint at like 75%. So you still have to do some fighting through the dungeon to get to 100 and then fight the boss. Um, but it's not that much. I'm actually kind of grateful for the check check checkpoints, but it also made you kind of be careful in where you were fighting and where you were running, where you're playing, because if you die, you're out for good. You don't respawn. Uh, and then this was just the clip of us finally killing the boss because he was so hard. It was actually really rewarding to finally kill this guy. Uh, me and Rapper tried a bunch of times. Then me, Rap, and Patrick tried a few times. Then I tried a few times. Um, Finally, as a three, we did manage to do it. It was so satisfying when we did. You're low on health. I thought you killed him first. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. I love that you uh, gave me a I got rushed. 
tank some damage. Boy. Target the brain. All the brain is massive go. damage. This boss fight sucks. The brain is massive it. damage. <laughs> Final, final. Oh, oh fucking yeah. Oh my god. Final. The brain is kicking around. Hey, I'm back. Oh my god. Damn it. Fuck, dude. My fucking shit. left hand's totally numb. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Ow. I imagine the loot is much better than what I just got because I only got like four things. <laughs> but oh my god. I got one gold. Oh, thank you guys for helping me fucking do that. Just on to the criticisms. Uh, the criticisms, I don't actually have that much. Obviously, with every new patch comes some bugs. Uh, this one where I get shoved and stuck under a truck by this trooper. Because I swapped my shield out from the fucking Transformer, so I don't have that anymore. Okay, guys, you're kind of in my face here. Do you see what's going on? Can you get out of my face. Like, storm truck it. Can you kind of fucking, like, not pin me up the corner, please? It's kind of rude. Okay, I'm actually kind of stuck. I'm like, he's wedged me under here. Are you serious? He's actually, like, wedged me in here. So I got, I have fucking died and failed because I got fucking wedged under the truck by that dude. Are you fucking serious? Is, is like, is that an actual thing? Uh, the inventory, as I said, is faster, but the inventory flashes. The Guardian ranks when this came out were initially bugged. That has since been fixed, though. Uh, there were some optimization issues added in. Um, a lot of the optimization has been kind of downgraded, I guess. The game lags quite a lot now and sometimes just seizes up. That does need to be fixed. Uh, there are some enemy glitches and just a quick warning before I play this clip, uh, a flash warning, this image does have like, this clip has like a lot of flashes, so if you're sensitive to flashing lights or anything, don't watch this clip, I'll provide a little timer down below to skip to, uh, this clip has flashing images, but yeah, it was a bit weird, so they need to fix that as well. I've never had that voice like before. Here we go, oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okay, we definitely need to work on this a little bit. And there was no chest after killing the boss. You just get his drop loot, which we were on the standard difficulty because we couldn't really hand him a Mayhem 1, 2, or 3, or 4. Um, but even then, there's no, like, chest after you defeat him. It's just the drop loot, um, which I can imagine on Mayhem 4 is probably really insane, and Mayhem 3 as well. Um, but I would have liked maybe a couple of chests after we just defeated him because all I got was maybe four legendaries throughout the whole thing and only one off of him. So it would have been nice for some extra stuff behind him. That was pretty much it. Overall, a very creative new boss set in a familiar enemy territory. And probably the best thing about this DLC was the boss and all the additions in the patch notes. As I said, this wasn't going to be a very long review, but what was here was actually really insane and really good. So for a Doc's diagnosis, well, the DLC is free. The boss design was awesome. The whole new area design for it was pretty cool. There's a whole new dungeon system with checkpoints design, so you have to be careful and teamwork is crucial as it's impossible on your own unless your build is impeccable and you can do it on Mayhem 4 with just your weapons and your rolls on your weapons and your guardian ranks like maxed out or whatever. Some people can do it, it's insane, I've seen it. So my rating for this, it's a 10. It's absolutely a 10. This, there was pretty much nothing wrong with this update. Um, you know, it doesn't cost anything. It was an awesome little update. Added some new end game content that forces you and your friends to work together. I really enjoyed it. I think I'm going to be definitely going back and playing it when my friends want to as well. Because um, I can't do it on my own. But yeah, a, a 10 for this. I've got no criticisms about it other than the bugs it added in. And those are going to get patched. And it's only a few bugs. So yeah, 10 from me. Blue medal all around. Should you buy this game? Well, it's free, so you don't have to buy it. So, yes, I guess. You don't have to pay for it, so yes, do buy it. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. Thank you for watching this Blue Review. Uh, please do subscribe to Rap and Patrick. They were in the background clip for this, uh, you know, the footage in the background. They were also in the clips where I defeat the boss, and I wouldn't have been able to defeat the boss without their help. So please do go check them out as well. Next Sunday should be the Gears of War 5 review. Um, although I'm working a lot tomorrow, so I might not get that done. I will let you know if I don't, um, but I'm going to try and work on it as soon as I can. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.